Hey guys, so I'm going to show you an exercise you can be doing with your dogs and puppies um, to feed them their morning kibble and their evening kibble. Uh, Gertie, sit. Good girl. Gertie's actually not great working for her straight kibble, um, but she is good with this, uh, the freeze-dried part that she has, as well as just some straight meat dog food that's kind of like a jerky that I'll feed the dogs. So the idea is you, you do come sit break. And when you say break, you drop several pieces on the ground and try to create distance. I'm not gonna drop that much because she's actually already had breakfast and I don't want her to be completely full um, all day long. So, but let me just give you an idea of what it is. Break. And then you quickly gain some distance. Wait till you see them finish eating the last piece. Gertie, come. Yeah, come on, Gertie. Sit. No, sit. There we go, good job. Loud noises, things like that. It's really good to work really young puppies outside because they can start to get used to all these noises before, you know, before you can take them to parks and stuff. Break. Gertie, come. <laughs> You're so fast. Sit. And sometimes the dogs will, um, they will absolutely leave some food behind because they're so excited with the exercise. Good job, break. So some of the dogs, you can't actually um, run away from them to get to another spot. And you can do this inside too, good girl, yeah. Um, because if you run, you increase their excitement and they follow you. Sometimes you have to like slink away from the dog slowly. Um, and another thing is too, sometimes she gets really excited with this game. She'll do some air hops, things like that. Um, every now and then she'll even, she'll like put a paw on me, even though we've tried to work on jumping. You know, I'm trying to keep her motivated while she's playing, so it's not that big of a deal is my point. I'll still say no. I might step into her, claim her space a bit, um, but I just don't make a big deal about it because we are working and I want to keep her motivated. So the other one, the other uh, one is place. So the second part of this is going to be really hard for Gertie. Um, we've been patterning uh, cots. We have four all together outside. She's been doing great. We've been patterning inside. She's been doing great. Um, but I've been having her drag around a leash and I have not. And we've been starting to do out of sight um, where I actually go out of sight while she's in place and call her. All of those things we've been doing, but we have not been mixing indoor and outdoor. And we have not been um, having her off leash. She's always dragging around a leash so I can guide her without having to physically um, go to her, and which is really important, actually. So this, um, the reason I'm doing so, a bunch of new things um, while I've got the camera out is because I want to show you guys how to work through stuff. Because if it looks perfect, then no. Gertie, come. Gertie, come on, place. Did you get bored? Heaven forbid. Um, I will say that stay. She knows place means down and stay. But the first few times we do stuff, um, a lot of times I have to remind her. And since I'm doing something new, maybe I'll put the stay back in there a few times. But then we filter it out by the end of each exercise. Look, she's so confused. There you go. Hang in there, girl. I'm going to go out of sight really briefly. Cause this is new. We've never done the inside outside. Let me tell you anything new you do with a puppy. It's a very difficult look at her trying to see me. I'm going to go out of sight. Gertie, come. Good girl. <laughs> Place. I'm going to give her a second to think it through. Good, good job. I knew she knew it. Now don't get me wrong, I mean, you can tell your dog to down right away. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, it's, it's good when you start trying to make them think a minute before you just spoon feed them what to do. Gertie, come, place. Good. She does not get a uh, treat every single time for doing this. Gertie, come. Place. No. Do you guys see what I did there? 
she went for my hand and I moved into her space. She's not completely on. No, place. Good. So she knows. Um, in fact, I probably could have just repeated the command and she might have reset herself anyway. But you notice how I give her extra, is that leg off? No, she's barely got it on. You know how I gave her extra information? I actually move to the other side of the mat so she can understand better, you know, to get her, get her butt on the mat. No? Good. Let's try to go outside. So she'll have to come this way rather... Let's see if she can puppy, puppy solve it. I'm just gonna wait a beat. You gotta really slow everything down, guys. I'm just gonna wait a beat, make sure she's okay. Now, cause you gotta let her settle, right? You're going somewhere new. No, no, Gertie, come, please. You can't rush, you gotta let them settle. If she breaks again, I'd do one of two things. I'd make it the exercise easier or put a leash on her. Just gonna wait for a beat. Make sure she's settled. No, stay. Help her out with a verbal. Disappear for a second. <coughs> ah, that didn't help me moving that. I stepped on a Dog bowl. That was good. Just gonna wait a few seconds. Gertie, come! Oh, I knew it. I knew she'd struggle with this one. Come on, Gertie. Come on. Figure it out, girl. Yes! Oh, good job! I'm gonna give her a treat right for that one. Cause that was good. Problem solving. Gertie, come. Place. Good job. No. Place. I got too excited, I think. Take your time, Gert. Jeez. Good. Very good. That was so good. Good job. Good job, pup. Well, anyway, you get, you get, you guys get the get the picture. You don't even have to make this super slow. You can make it really easy. You can be in an apartment. You can be in a tiny space. You just need two beds, and you just call them back and forth and back and forth. And that's just for exercise. In the morning, feed them their kibble that way. Make it easy. Nope, stay. Oh, stinker. I could tell she was about to get up. No, let's go. Let's go. Place. Good. Good job, Gert. Good job. But um, you can definitely make it more challenging. It's also hard because I'm talking. No. Got her side swipe me. This time I am going to lead her right on. A little pop. Down. Good. Make her feel like I got a little bit more control over her since she's not dragging a leash for the first time. Cause it's really nice because like with a leash and stuff like that you don't have to grab for the dog you just step on the leash calmly re you know guide the dog back into place stay do a little reinforcement let's try another out of sight guys you guys get the picture and then i'm gonna let you go let's go back to this one i can watch her out the window here too you guys probably can't see her See if she can handle. Oh yeah, she can see me. See her? She's thinking. I'm out here all alone. Gertie, Gertie, come. Good job. Gertie, come. This way. You knew I was over here. Good job. That was a good one. That was tough. Oh yeah, that was tough. Oh yes. Oh wiggle butt. Oh yes. There you go. Break. Okay, so last but not least, um, you feed the dog the rest of the food. Come here, Gert. Gertie. Sit. Oh, good job. This is how you feed it to him. So if you've, you use whatever, you know, kibble you've got for that morning, you have any leftovers. She also usually has wet food mixed with this, but I just want to show you guys. Because um, she's actually already eaten. 
Yes, you have. So here's the thing. Even though I'll use stay with puppies to teach them to stay on the mat and things like that, I'll, I'll absolutely give them extra information and then wean that out later. Um, I don't do that with food because I really want food to be like an automatic wait. I don't want to have to tell my dog to wait whenever there's food or a food bowl or people food or any of that around. I want it to be a default wait. So I don't want to have to tell my puppy to, to um, stay there. So the way that you do that is you've got your food bowl. You've already taught them a good sit or a down or a place, whatever the case is. And even if you haven't, you put the food bowl down soon as she knows the drill soon as the puppy pops up you probably won't even get all the way down to the ground you might just get this far puppy pops up nope you lift the food back up have them you can use the food like you would lure with um an actual treat into a sit go down again back up again back up desensitizes them calms them down lets them know well, lets them think, well, how do I get this food? <laughs> it goes down in front of my nose and then it's lifted back up. Eventually they will stay in a sit. Then the next thing is the noise, the noise of it hitting the ground. Um, that would always in the beginning kind of make her jerk a little bit. She's like, oh my God, it's like I'm about to be released. Then so a lot of times I'll just desensitize that. I'll just put it down and then lift it back up again. Like, even if they don't get up, even if, if they look stressed, I won't release them. Um, but anyway, you put the food bowl down, and then instead of releasing the dog to the food, which creates drive, if you don't need to create drive, give the food to your puppy. Break. There you go, pup. So hope that, hopefully that gives you guys, hopefully that gives you guys an idea of, uh, of what your morning or evening routine can look like.